Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're in the best of health. I hope you're drinking water and minding your business. If you're new to this channel, my name is Annie Paul. It's nice to meet you. Uh, okay, so I'm just sharing what a, you know, day or a week in my life is like being a medical volunteer. I'm going to really try because guys, everything here just happens so like unpredictably if that's the word um unpredict it's basically unpredictable around here okay so um there's a lot of background noise i mean this is a rural area you know you love the vibes so currently i just got dressed i haven't gone to see my patients today i'm gonna go see them and then I think we have a surgery for later today so i'm gonna to go through that as well and yeah um come along with me <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, maybe it, it, do, it actually does take time to do all this, so you have to plan around it. Exactly. Yes, I have a question. When you first started, how did you handle bad things? Like, you know, those days you really put in effort. Yes. And then the patients died or something like that. Uh, how did you? How did you, you know, the, the most, the, the most important is that your conscience and you try your best. Everybody, even the relative, everybody will see that. And when we started here, was like, this is a bush. But you came to home, to Nigeria. I was already a millionaire as of 1992 because of the business we were doing. Now everything flopped, came to zero. And so we started doing house job and they were saying 30, I mean 5,000 naira in a month. <laughs> So how did you manage to combine business and you like keeping up with medicine? Ah, we have only dinner. I don't go beyond that. Uh, <laughs> I was a very serious student. Wow. Mm. Holiday will come. Mm. I will go. I will do anything during holiday. Mm -hmm. Just, but not too much too. Mm -hmm. uh, just something. So you must be up and doing. Uh, so your background is irrelevant mm. is it, whether your parent does not have money doesn't have money but once you are good you will see help see people will rally around you that's my own story thank you sir <laughs> thank you you have, you have, you have really I'm sure you guys are going to watch this and they'll be like very motivated. Like, ah, if this man can do this in 1990, yes. ah, I can do it today. Ah, so now, you know why we are saying it? There is no shortcut. If, if you want, for instance, if you want to practice in Nigeria and you want to make it, mm -hmm. you must have skill. And if you know, guys, there's like 100,000, 200,000. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want to put this money down somewhere so I can also make money. Also want to learn skills at the same time. What do you think such a person can do? Mm, well, the way I look at it, despite the fact that I was looking for skills, I was still doing business. Three days and two years. Do you know like mm. those those days? Those yeah, what this is the five times two is mm. what? Do you know what it is to like how do I say it? How do I articulate this? Failure, failure, failure and, upon, and still keep pushing is exhausting. We did it to replenish all those things that they are going to I'm sorry to that, you know, to me, that has made me made you to use a lot of uh, potassium. Uh, no, not terribly bad. And the creatinine just... Uh, Hi, guys. Hi, uh-uh. The whole team. I can't find my floor. Sorry. You'll be all right. You you it, need what? Yeah. Ah, oh Doctor Collins is uh, wow. I'm I'm just fine. Let's see your ring. I'm just finding out. Wow. <laughs> mm. 
don't be in my DMs or you, you people. You already know now. You already know. Stop that. Be in my DMs. Eh. Eh. I'm sorry, you just finished saying he's married. I'm not married, though. Let's see. Anyways, guys, so I bought food, um, some beans and rice, and egg and corn. It's actually trenches food. Careful now. It's actually, it's actually trenches food. You're holding it. No, it's not going to pour. But I need them to see. It's actually. Ah! Look at these people. These are not these vlogs. This. How many videos we have watched? And we have Doctor. Mm. She's actually bad. shy, so she's not going to eat in front she's of them. You know how much you buy one to buy yam now? The you guys are not really nice sauce. Mm. You know those, uh, those ones are soft. Okay. So I've, I've actually eaten a bit. I've actually eaten some food. And now I have proper energy to speak to you guys. First things first. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to take my time to enjoy this food. It's trenches food, but guy, it's doing the work. If I don't get gastroenteritis, I feel like yeah, the light is better this way. Okay. Say all you sensitive. Say not sensitive, guys. Do you know one of the first things that I encountered today on what rounds is the different mindsets or beliefs or unbelievable things people believe. I don't know if that's the correct thing to see. Let me carry my food off my lap first. So like... Mm -hmm. So people are out here believing in strange, strange stuff. Oh. I was doing ward rounds and I got to this lady we had done like a cesarean section on her and now like we're watching her, she and baby are alright. And then her friend is advising her, don't wear anything yellow around your child though. That's how the day they gave birth to your child. Um, the day you gave birth to your child, I saw the wrapped yellow clothes. Don't do that, your baby skin is going to be yellow. I'm like, yo, no. No. <laughs> I just adequately counseled the lady. Nigeria is noisy, I'm sorry. I'll be this part of it. In fact, Nigeria is actually noisy, but this part is noisier, if that's a word. Um, I just adequately counseled her and I was like, you know what? Like, Wearing yellow clothes or associating with yellow things or yellow colored fabrics and stuff like that won't actually affect your child. Like, what will affect your child is if you expose your child to anything like camphor, anything like rub, mentholatum containing substances or things like that. That's when your child will actually have a problem. That's when your child's skin will be yellow. So, if you have that belief, please. Now you know what to do. Um, I'm going to go back to my food. And talk to you guys when I have some more energy. She's no, she's naked. No, she's very naked. So, Collins is a bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Really? Ah, sorry. Let me try. It shakes, sir. Uh, please, Sissy, could you help me close the door? Oh, I'm, really, I'm really scared of I'm so sorry. Okay. I'll come my and check it. But it's working. Ah, uh -uh, this is a nice picture. Hi. <laughs> so, look, people. Look at your head. It's not small in the camera. Uh, do the head. back of your head. Do the back of your head. Nice. See? Si. <laughs> I'm done. Yo, you guys, um, we're going to still have the surgery today. Oh, it's no. a hysterectomy oh, or total hysterectomy or something. So these are like my people. Oh, this is all of Everyone say, wow, say cheese now. Say cheese. Cheese. <sighs> Anyways. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Because she's postmenopausal. And we... It's just it's safer for the for her condition and stuff. But yeah. Um bye babies. Bye yeah, yeah. babies. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The most important thing 
it's safe surgery. It's not how fast. Mm -hmm. You can be fast and you will run into trouble. Okay. Oh. Thank you, everybody. Mad. Hi, guys. Good. You know what? I should just let the show go down because I may. Why am I having a shuku if I cannot flip it and floss it? And you know, look cute and all. Anyways, hi guys, good morning. It's currently 11 a.m. Yeah, 11.53, so yeah. I'm going to have a text message I haven't opened. 11.53 and this is when? August? Yeah, this is the actual time, time, time. 11.54 um, What is happening? Today is basically clinic so I've gotten a couple of um, I've been privileged to do a couple of consultations and I've seen patients you know put up a plan review with my senior doctors and everything is looking alright hmm? So I'm currently, while I'm waiting if any more people will come around, you know, to consult, I've also, the noise in this country, eh? there are things I cannot control, I tell you. Okay, now that that has passed, oh, okay, so now that that has passed, um, I've also been able to do my ward rounds, and I've seen, like, patients that are currently you know admitted critical patients and you know just sorted out through different things this i don't know volunteering is kind of fulfilling kind of scary i mean my first clinic day i had a patient that drank a sniper being insecticide and tried to kill herself so it's fulfilling in the sense that you get to help in how you can and what not not and it's scary because these are people from different ethnicities different socioeconomic backgrounds different beliefs different values and some of them would rather save the money at the detriment of their health so you have to consider that as well but all in all, things are looking alright. Things are looking just fine. I'm in the trenches, guys. Trenches. But yeah, we move. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go.